I'm Justin. I'm Jess, and we are currently at the world's largest gas station, Bucky's in Seaverville, right outside of Great Smoky Mountains National Park in Tennessee. This gas station is 74,000 square feet, has 120 gas pumps, and a 250 foot car wash. Justin actually took me here on a mystery date. Well, what's a mystery date? Well, we're gonna have to go about an hour back in time to find out. <laughs> Jess. Justin. Do you have any guesses why we are in a parking lot on the side of the highway? We are at a Dollar Tree. Yes. <laughs> That's all I got so far. I love Jess because like me, she loves surprises. And 11 years ago when we started dating, we began this tradition called mystery dates. Are we going on a mystery day today? We are going on a mystery day today. Essentially, every other month, one of us plans a mystery date for the other one. This month, it's my turn. Do you have any guesses where we're going? You've had lots of hints over the course of the last 200 miles. So we've been driving east through Tennessee and we keep seeing these billboards. I, I have no idea. Smoky Mountain? I'll give you a hint. It's the largest gas station in the world. <laughs> That's right. You're taking me to a gas station. I'm taking you to Bucky's, the newest Bucky's in Tennessee. And actually, I don't wanted to go to a Bucky's. Yeah, me too. I'm actually kind of excited. It seems to be super popular here in the South and everyone says it's like the best of the best as far as gas stations go. We're only like 20 minutes away. Cat diggity dog. And I have cleared our <laughs> schedule for today just to go to Bucky's. So where are we at Dollar Tree? Oh, well I had to get some supplies for tonight. You'll find out. <laughs> Mystery indeed. I feel like some people might not be crazy about going on a date to the world's largest gas station, but I love goofy stuff like this. World's largest ball of twine, world's largest skillet. Jessica and I love chasing superlatives. The biggest something, the smallest something, the furthest something. It's like what we do. And now that we live in our RV, we spend a lot of time at gas stations, so I feel like this is kind of like coming to like yeah, seriously, we're like, we're professional gas station nerds. <laughs> I mean, we go to all of them. I'm wearing overalls already. I mean, like, let's get it, baby. Take exit 407, Winfield Dunn Parkway. Two miles! Oh, exit now! All right, y'all, we're here. Seaverville, here we come! Woo, woo, woo! I don't know why I'm so excited. The inner arc Oh, what? Oh this is packed. This looks like a Walmart. Yeah. This is 1048 on a weekday. <laughs> Look at all of these gas pumps. Look at this place. This is America. <laughs> there is 20 electric car chargers here. And only one Tesla. Yeah. I didn't know that gas stations could have that like new car smell, but this one definitely does. It smells like, I don't know, it smells like a new house. Oh my God. And yeah, it smells like barbecue. Hey, good, how are you? Hi. Wow, they're really nice here. Oh my, this is insane. It smells so good in here. It smells like barbecue and roasted nuts. Justin just told me that the Bucky's is a whopping 74,000 square foot in here. I'd say it's divided kind of into four sections. About one half is all snacks, food, barbecue, slushies, pretty much anything that you can possibly put in your mouth. And then there's a section for Bucky's related apparel, another section of just normal clothes, and then sort of southern themed home goods. It's quite the eclectic mix in here. This is absolutely crazy. They literally have an entire corner of the store that is just barbecue accessories and hunting goods. When does a business transition from being a gas station with a store to a store with a gas station? Bulky's actually makes over 12 different kinds of its very own soda, including sarsaparilla, which is one of my absolute favorites. Sarsaparilla was popular in the 19th century, but kind of went out of fashion. I am definitely getting a big cup of that to go. Mm, sarsaparilla good. I don't know what that means. All right, Jess, so I got to admit, it wouldn't be that great of a date if I was just taking you inside the gas station. So I've planned a scavenger hunt. Oh, you have? I have. First, you need to find the most ridiculous Bucky-themed item in the store. There seems to 
to be a lot of that, so I'm guessing that won't be too hard. Well, I will be the judge. Second, we need to get a photo with the Bucky statue out front. Okay. Third, we need to find a ridiculous outfit for one another. Okay. Fourth, I know how much you love riding through car washes. <laughs> it's true. So, we are going to take you through the world's second longest car wash, second only to the Bucky's in Katy, Texas. I saw it out there and it is straight up enormous, so <laughs> I'm pretty pumped. And last, fifth, we're going to buy all of the items we need here to make a romantic Bucky's candlelit themed dinner. I'm actually pretty excited about that one. Okay, are you ready to find the most ridiculous Bucky's themed item in this store? I was born ready. I literally just started and stumbled across this Bucky's fun straw that will turn you into a beaver, uh, which I think <laughs> is a pretty solid contender. They've had Thanksgiving apparel, Christmas apparel, and back there we also saw Halloween Bucky's blankets. Like, Bucky's really is have the holidays covered for sure. I didn't really even know that they sold milk and cookie sets just for Santa, but this is a Bucky's themed one because we all know that Santa probably loves Bucky's too. In case you have a dog Bucky's enthusiast in your life, they have a little doggy outfit in a variety of sizes. We also have Bucky's hygiene products. We got nail clippers, sunscreen, hand lotion, lip balm, nail filers. What don't they have? What is it? I don't know. Is that a flying squirrel Bucky? Oh, they, on, oh, maybe it's just oh. like a... Oh, that's cute. Is that a travel pillow? Oh, that yeah, I want one. What's that over there? This? I think this is a Bucky seat pad. You like sit on it at games and things like that. I mean, you gotta rate it. <laughs> Top of squat. I feel like they've designed this place not to have seating options. Excuse me, ma'am. Don't sit on the floor. This is pretty good. I think this may or may not be for children. <laughs> Welcome to Bucky! That's the winner. So we found a lot of silly products, but I think this one might take the cake. This is the Bucky's onesie. They don't have a fitting room, so Jessica is sneaking on her Bucky onesie in the corner. <laughs> Like a I'm very game. ashamed. I think it might be too big, this one. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's very warm. <laughs> Pregnant beaver. <laughs> I don't know how much more excited I can be. <laughs> Ooh, it's hot. Is it hot? Yeah. So we had heard that there is a giant Bucky statue that you could see from miles and miles around. And we were looking all over <laughs> for it. And we finally found it. And it is here. <laughs> it's still pretty cute. But now we have to take a photo with it, yeah? Oh, yeah. We need to wait for somebody to walk by and help us get a photo with it. Pardon me, ma'am. Would you mind taking a photo of my wife and I with the Bucky statue? Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Oh, that's perfect. It's wonderful. Thank, Thank you, you so much. <laughs> that's cute. Oh, that's good. What do you think? Now, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, we got to pick out ridiculous outfits for one another. Okay, let's do it. I like that they have a Bucky's Santa. I wonder if it has a tail. It does. Bucky's Santa version indeed has a beaver tail, if anyone out there was wondering. So Justin loves the movie Elf. What do you think? I don't know, it's up to you to decide. It's definitely a contender, but still looking. <laughs> Holly Jolly Babe dress, what do you think? I'd wear it. It's got pearlescent sequins. Yeah. You think you'd do it? I can't tell if it's a nightgown or a dress, but either way, I'm, I'm kind of into it. Okay, it's on my maybe list. How do you feel about cheetah print sweatpants? And there's also a Bucky, it looks like. Oh, over of course. Here. Winner? Okay, I found your outfit and I am extremely excited to show it to you. Oh, I found yours and I am more excited to show it to you. First up, we have this straw hat lined Whoa. with Bucky's. Oh, like that. Justin is known for having kind of a large head and it looks oh, to yeah. fit perfectly. Actually, it might be a little too big. Next up, we have a Bucky shirt, but more importantly, what does it, it say? It says, I'm going back to Bucky's, but I just like, he has like a gold chain. He's like a DJ kind of hip hop sort of vibe. That's pretty ridiculous. They didn't really have very many 
crazy man pants. So you get a pair of tie-dye Bucky lady sweatpants. Hell yeah, I'll wear it. Yeah. Okay, are you ready for your outfit? I'm ready. First, your top. Christmas calories don't count, which is very true. Your hat. You know, I had my eye on this. This looks very fuzzy, warm. It's a Bucky's bucket hat. It was on my Bucky list. <laughs> Last but not least, now that we live on the road full time in an RV, I got you some Bucky's themed boy shorts with tiny little trailers on it. Aww. Okay, I might actually get these because this is seriously cute. Our trailer kind of looks like that. Yeah, it does. It's pretty cute. Well, thank you. You're welcome. You thought of me. You knew. What do you think, guys? We grabbed some snacks and bought our favorite clothes before heading back to the trailer so we could unhook it from the car in preparation for our soapy expedition. We unhooked the trailer and we're about to take on the 250 foot car wash. The second longest car wash in the world. To the car wash. We'll be right back trailer. Going to the car wash. Wow, four lanes for a car wash? 250 feet of sudsy goodness. <laughs> I do love a good car wash. Whoa. <laughs> it's like a light show. Oh. Trippy. Ah! I used to be scared of this when I was a little kid. Is this the fanciest date you've ever been on? <laughs> Definitely the only date that I can think of that involves a car wash. This is the longest car wash I've ever been in. Dude, our car was so dirty. We have not washed it in months. There's just something so satisfying about a car wash. Wow, I can't believe it's still going. Yeah, I feel like we've been in here for a while. Ooh. Some kind of like... Rain shower. Like a fancy hotel shower. Ooh, more disco lights. <laughs> now the fans. <laughs> wow. I feel like it's pushing our car back. Oh wow, they're swiveling. I've never seen that before. Oh. Oh my God. What did you think? It had disco lights. Also it lasted for like five minutes. So if you are a car wash enthusiast like me, yeah. definitely worth the $12.99 to do it. It's real suds for your buck. <laughs> and look at this car. Oh my God, is this the same car? Wow. Actually, that's really impressive. Turns out when you wash your things, they look better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the back is still pretty dirty. Oh, uh, okay. Well, you know, 13 bucks. We didn't get the deluxe package for $16, so maybe you get a clean back if you spring for the extra. With only minutes to spare before sunset, we hurried back inside to buy food for our romantic candlelit dinner. We got some glazed pecans, which I think will be perfect for dessert. I think they make them on site. They're nice and warm, and they're supposed to be really good. We are getting all of the beaver themed things, starting with beaver nuggets. I thought it was Bucky's nuggets, but beaver nuggets. I got beaver fever, baby fig. Weighty veggie burrito, beaver chips, which just appear to be handmade chips. No romantic dinner is complete without a slushie. Oh no! <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm gonna get some cashews too. And now it's time for that romantic dinner. <laughs> Let's get to it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so our romantic meal consists of Beaver nuggets, which I guess, I'm not sure if it will be an appetizer or a dessert. Beaver uh, chips, which are just... Homemade chips. Homemade chips with yeah. like somehow 40 ingredients. Veggie burrito and finally cinnamon candied cashew. But I think the piece de la resistance is a blue raspberry slushy. Ah, yes. <laughs> Look at my ice bucket. Can I slush you? There you go. <laughs> well, that's another mystery date on the books. This is definitely one of the most memorable mystery dates I've ever had. Are you ready to eat two pounds of sugar? <laughs> I was born for this role. Cheers. Cheers. Be sure to like and subscribe so we can afford to keep buying beaver nuggets and so you can get notified of our next video where we show off the best that Charleston, South Carolina has to offer in just 24 hours. Brain freeze. I've always wanted to try this. Almost! <laughs> Almost. <laughs>